Beauty News family, welcome to Beauty News. This is April part three. We're not updates. doing parts anyway. We're, no, we're, we're not. Doing that. What it's date April, is it going to be on Monday? Yeah, let's check. April seventeenth. Update. So we thought that the date is probably a better option because yeah. it makes more sense. Yeah. Um, if you are in a different time zone, okay, it might be April sixteenth. Mm. So it's, not much it's a constant about it. thing, but you know what can you it's do? A it's, it's a battle. It's a battle. And we're losing it. I know. Um, and we're losing our minds. So today's updates video, uh -huh. and it is Easter. It is. It's Easter here in Australia, probably everywhere else in the world. That was a stupid thing to say. Shame on you, Hayley. Shame. Shame. Somebody get the shame bell. Shame bell. <laughs> Anyway, um, this is not actually a very long episode, so we decided to have fun mm -hmm. with it. Decided to uh, have a... No, it's tea. Sure. Anyway. Sip the tea. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Let's not. Let's not Let's do really that. not. <laughs> okay, we've got a bunch of updates, but we also have one drama thing. Do we want to talk about the drama sure, first? Sure, let's get it out of the way. We can end this video <sighs> on a sweet note that way. Yes. Okay, so what is the drama today? So, essentially... Huda Beauty, someone asked her how her mink lashes, the hairs for her mink lashes, are harvested. Yeah, so it said here, but no one cares of the fact that they are mink, which are animals brutally murdered for the hair. Um, and she replied, oh, so this is, people in the group are making a big deal about this, but we were a little bit like, uh, it's a... She, okay, she might not be the smartest person in the world. Yeah. Well, some people thought potentially a language barrier, which that could, could very well be it. Could be. We don't know. We don't know her personally. No. So it's hard for us to really yeah. judge what's happening. Essentially, she said, we have talked to our manufacturer about that, and they said that they do not hurt the minks. The mink is collected from free-range zoos and recycled during the shedding season. It's then sterilized to ensure it's completely safe for use. Now, we I think we all know that minks aren't kept in free range zoos. No. Um, <laughs> no. That's not, it's not actually how animal hair farming works. Now, there are legit animal farming places that look after their animals well. Mm -hmm. There are also some that don't look after their animals well and they're kept in horrible conditions. Yeah. But without knowing who her supplier is, it's really hard to do your research. And, like, I'm not one of those people who likes to jump on a bandwagon of rage or praise without knowing more facts. So Yeah, but I, I feel like the thing here that people are getting their knickers in a knot over mm -hmm. uh, is the is the term free range zoo. Yeah. If you interchange that with farm. Yeah, free range farm works. I, I don't see, it seems like a semantics issue here. Yeah. She used the wrong word and people are losing their shit over yeah. it. There are many brands that use um, mink hair for brushes and lashes and it's... Um, cruelty free in a mm. sense that they don't harm the animal to get it yeah. so they brush it and they wait for the hair to shed and they use that hair similar to how my favorite lashes are made of human hair they don't yeah. kill people no to harvest that hair no they cut it off people yeah. who don't or get or, paid to yeah they donate the hair so whether you like farming or not is up to you but it seems like the issue here was the her lack of knowledge when it came to where the mink hair comes from mm. And to me, I thought it was just a stuff up with the terminology of either her not understanding that a zoo is not a farm and yeah. a farm is not a zoo. Yeah. That's kind of what I got from it. Yeah. But you people know? were like getting mega shitty over it. And I was yeah, like, calm were. your farm yeah. or your free range zoo. Yeah. It's not a, it's not a big deal. Ah, <laughs> oh, you. You're you. so good. You. Yeah, look, I I mean, I don't want to comment on whether they are mm. humanely collected or not, the hairs, because without knowing the supplier, and also, a lot of brands won't give up who their suppliers are. Of course are not. Because it's like trade secrets. Yeah, because and otherwise actually... people can contact them and make 
exactly the same product exactly. and have a like that's why you don't know what factory makes makeup geek they'll mm-hmm. always say we make like our factories are made in the like our products are made in the u.s yeah and some of the biggest makeup brands mm-hmm. also are made in the same factory as us they will never tell you who or anything like that because it is a secret and yeah. if you if we knew for example which factory makeup geek was made in we'd contact them straight away and be like hey Hey, we would love to make a makeup range. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. So they lose their competitive edge. They've yeah. done the research. They've done, they've paid factories and stuff to make like trial products. And, and of course they're going to keep that a secret. Same as with where they get their mink from. Absolutely. From. So not a problem. Yeah. Let's move on yeah. to actual updates. Yeah. Let's get on to updates. So, next item we want to talk about is a little update with the Anna Sui collection. This is the summer 2017 collection. Mm -hmm. Now, we did say with one of the photos that we had that there was a makeup palette in there. Correct. And now we know what it looks like. It is actually a custom palette, which is cool. It's so Uh, small. It's tiny. And how do we fit eyeshadows in there? I expected it to be like... This size? Yeah. It looks like it's this size, it looks, like a compact. It looks like the baby. The baby. Uh, and, um, the baby. Yeah. I mean, it's cute. I like the like the aesthetics of it, but it's not magnetic. I just, I don't really, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it either. I don't get it. Unless they have products that fit that kind of shape really nicely and they've got that shape previously. Potentially. Um, there was comments on the last video when we, when we were discussing this collection and people were saying that they love the product and etc. etc. I looked into it and I remember this brand being out, like their perfume range being out and very, very prominent mm. when I was in high school, which yeah. is a long time ago. Um, and the thing is, they they took them out of the Australian market. They mm. you can't yeah, buy you them can't anymore. Yeah, you can't. You yeah. can only get it online. Online, yeah. yeah. And they're generally online stores that are like based in international companies or sourced from international companies. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I was really surprised that they were so popular in the like nineties and early like two thousands, and yeah. then they've just like now we just yeah. can't get it. So we're so, rewarding it for the people that can access it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, there is also glitter nail polishes, which we talked about in the original mm-hmm. introduction. And, I mean, it's kind of chunky, dispersed glitter, this yeah. particular one. It's not... Like a glitter top coat. Yeah, yeah. So there's that too. Nothing too crazy. Yeah. Um, let's talk about Casey and Smashbox. This is Casey Holmes. Casey yeah. Holmes, yeah. yeah, and Smashbox. So we know that Casey brought out her highlight palette with them. It's two of them. There's two. That's yep. correct. Now, she did do a vlog. It is the engagement gifts and wedding planning vlog on her vlog channel where she showed a stack of the palettes that she mm-hmm. has and she said that the palettes with her packaging a limited edition when they sell out they will be repackaged and added to the traditional smashbox line yeah so i believe their packaging is just black and white yeah um so yeah similar to how the becca uh champagne pop highlighters by the way becca is doing a new collab yeah we we're talk talking about, about that in friday's, friday's episode video. so yeah yeah, it's breaking news now, so yeah. it's probably good that we're holding off anyway because more we'll, will come out. More will come out. We'll have so, swatches and all sorts of stuff yeah. to show you. Um, but similar to how it had like the champagne pop had limited edition packaging with like Jaclyn Hill's little bio on it, um, but if you look at the actual packaging of it, it was just similar to their permanent line, mm-hmm. um, and then it was incorporated into their permanent line. So similar thing, but this is happening with Smashbox. So. Yeah, and some people are like, well, why would I buy it? when it's why would I buy the limited edition one when I can get it anytime however typically collaborations like this are actually made for fans correct and it's a way for the fans to purchase an item that was like co-created with the youtuber yes. that they're a fan of so yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah. it's also similar to Anastasia Beverly Hills the Nicole mm. Guerrero palette was designed for people who A, like highlighters. Yeah, and B, like Nicole. Exactly right. Yeah. And then it also opens up, um, like, Anastasia Beverly Hills to a market that might, they, you know, the people might not yes. be familiar with the brand. Yeah. Similar thing with this. So, 
Um, it's just a way to market the product and generally the person that will buy it first will be the fan and mm -hmm. then down the track if it gets good reviews, you know, it's become permanent. I find Sourcebox do cycle through products a lot though. Smashbox. Smashbox. <laughs> It happens, Dirt. guys. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. So that's why there's two of us. Yes. Eventually one it, person will pick something exactly. up. Exactly. Or it just totally goes over our heads because we're tired. And, and we've got bunny ears on. Yeah. And sometimes the bunny ears don't catch everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, I try. They need yeah. to be tinfoil fucking bunny yeah. ears yeah. for them to catch everything. But yeah. So um, yeah, it's just a marketing strategy. It is. It yeah. is. All right, we're going to move on to Kale Polish. Yes. Oh, thank God. This is wrapping up because that Kale Polish drama was... No, it's not drama, but it it's was just a trickle. A trickle. We're not talking about this until she releases new products again, yeah. guys, because this has been, like, ongoing. And it actually... I don't know about you. I assume this is the same for you, but... It really annoys me when, like, every single video we're talking about the same product. Yes. And it's just like, here's, here's something a new, new shade. here's an update. Here's one. Oh, oh god. It's just like, by the time it comes out, I look at it with disdain. Yes. And I'm like, yeah, get out. Which I do get think, out. Like, I do think it's kind of tainted this collection. So this is a yeah. spring collection. It is. Um, there's some beautiful colours in there it. So are. I particularly like St. Clair, that periwinkle blue. Beautiful. Tint. I love Miss Honey. I think it's yeah. gorgeous. The rest of them are just all right. Yeah. So we've got Miss Honey, which is sort of like a blush nude. Yeah. St. Clair, which is a beautiful, beautiful blue. Coconut Milk, which is... A white. White. Um, that's what she said, which is like a metallic taupey colour. Mm -hmm. Pistachio Ice Cream, which is like a sort of slightly dirty mint... Green? I'd call it a pea green. Pea green. Good, yeah. Or a very pale olive. Yeah. Yeah. There we tapenade. go. Tapenade. Uh, yes. Oh, my God. I love tapenade. Wow, we could get some. We're going to get some we snacks. We need some snacks. And then we've got Hug and Roll, which is a really, really light, like, pastel yeah. purple. Beautiful. beautiful it's a colour. typical spring colour. Absolutely beautiful colour. Yeah. Um, so, there they are, in all their beautiful glory. Moving on. Next time we'll be talking about their summer collection. So, tune in next week when we're yeah. really, like, trickling that out. Fuck me dead. <laughs> yeah. We get tired of it. We yeah. really do. Yeah. All right. Next update, we have some... Swatches. Swatches. Cat Von D swatches. Mr. Squiggle swatches. Yes. I love Mr. Squiggle. <laughs> um, so these are the everlasting something, something, something lip liners. You know them. I, you know what they're called. We don't. I can't we know remember. Of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know of them. Um, beautiful colours. Yeah. I think the nude range is great. I think the dark red range oh. is great. Do you know what I really like about these? Yep. It looks like they've split it almost perfectly half of them nude from like fair, fair, fair through to like deep kind yep. of lips. And then they've gone all the colours. Sorry, I That's hit right. you. That was, I just, it was, I, the, was the, most, bling, the most bling. gentle hit ever. And it's because I'm kind of leaning into her like... Give me a snuggle. Like, yeah. <laughs> snuggle yeah. me. <laughs> um, yeah, and then they've gone with the colours like, you know, yeah. greens, blues, purples, pinks, pinks oranges, orange, reds. Yeah. Black. Yeah. Like, she's covered it. She's yeah. covered it. I will be very interested to see how much these cost in Australia. Mm. Yeah, I know. Like, it reminds me a bit of like Huda Beauty. You buy the lip... The mm, lipstick, like yeah. the liquid lipstick and that's then like you buy $36 and then the lip liner that matches is 34 and you have to pay 70 Australian dollars I would to not, get both. Yeah, I would like, I thought do that. Kylie lip kits were bad. That yeah. is a rip-off. So yeah. hopefully these aren't... Mm. If these, look, I, I reckon they'll be over the $20 mark. But if yes. these are over the $30 mark, I would be shocked. I'm out. Yeah, shook. and I wouldn't... I'll be shook in the most... Disturbing Words, way. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I think I just spat everywhere. Right. I was so shook. Before it was me spitting, so it's fine. fine. It's Even fine. Steve. Exactly. Okay. Um, this one. Yes. This is the Mac Fruity Juicy Collection. Fruity Juicy. It's my favourite. Fruity Juicy. Um, I just got some little updates here. A uh, photo of the bronzer, sort of blush highlight. Yep. Don't know what that's meant to be, but it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, we've got the coconut spray, some lipsticks and a lip gloss, and brushes. Yeah. And Kat pointed out that these are most likely the double-sided brushes. Yeah. So, like... Because it looks like there's two of each. Yeah. But often what they do in limited edition collections is they make it, like, half synthetic or yes. half natural hair and then a half a different type of natural yes, hair yeah and they're designed that like one side 
might apply more product yep. and the other side might pick it up like in a more um kind of sheer way mm -hmm. but they do make these like right down the middle duo brushes which is what i'm expecting that to be yes i would say that's correct and they've got a makeup bag it with is, like a, the banana the, the ba <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. is how we say bananas <laughs> on beauty news now banana -na, all right <laughs> It's done. Oh, We're getting t-shirts made. <laughs> banana nuts. Okay, so there's a makeup bag with a <laughs> banana. No, it's definitely a banana nut. <laughs> is it like a hand? Banana handle? <laughs> I hope it is a handle because, oh, um, yeah, look, I don't... Oh, it's, I nearly popped my eyelashes. I know, I'm nice. actually crying right now. If, <sighs> if the banana does... <laughs> If it doesn't have a function, it's a bit silly. If wow. it's just hanging off the side. I am actually crying. <laughs> oh, that was gold. Oh, good. Gold. Good, times. good. All right. So there is a makeup bag yep. with a banana that sticks out the side of it. Actually, it's actually two bananas. So yeah. maybe maybe the, the plural for bananas can be banana. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't even say it now. It's lost. It's, it's lost. Gone. Um. Oh, yeah, no but I don't actually mind this makeup bag because it's cool. It's actually it looks like the the print for the collection has been hand painted at some stage. You yeah, see how it's sort of like. But it looks kind of like you know uh, old school kind of sixties taking. Yes. Um, yeah. The kind of Hawaiian influence. Yeah. I kind of like that. I think it's a bit like you know tacky but cool. Yeah. Yeah. I like I it like too. It. I, I like, like it. it. Next item we have is the final, the final Melt Cosmetics Highlight. Highlighter. So this one is called, zoom in for me, oh, Nova. Nova, here we go. So there they're the go. Digital Dust Highlight Collection. Mm -hmm. What makes these digital? Don't know. They're sold online. Yeah, that's digital that's enough it. for them, I guess. This is actually a gorgeous colour. Oh, mate, this so, colour is beautiful. I love it. It's like a bronze and it's got like a gold kind of shift to it but at the same time there's like a rosiness to mm. it and what they have done which i really respect and i'm sure a lot of people respect as well they've made fair medium deep so yeah. you see on the screen that there is a fair model her highlighter looks quite dark i don't um, know if it's just a contour potentially yeah her hair looks bomb I yeah like and um, then there's a more medium yes and then, and then, then we have a deep uh i like these they're yeah. going to be sold individually, so Good. you can buy the one that suits you, which is Good. fantastic. Because most brands would put this in a trio, and yes. then they go, they don't now, acknowledge the fact that it is for different skin tones. That's actually something I want to talk about. So we have been seeing a little sort of sneak peek yeah. for some form of palette from yes. Melt. Yeah. And we don't know if they're going to put the three in that palette but the we, packaging is completely different yes so we know 100 percent these are being sold individually which yes. is great totally like on board with that however they have been showing some sort of like filigree, filigree yeah. yeah packaging thing i think that's something different and i think they're I just think trying to get rumors flying yeah, i think it's probably something different as well it doesn't look to be the right shape for three highlighters but it's it's different like it's a different design you look it at is, the packaging yes. of this and it's very um like quite clean it text is, yep whereas that one is black and white with really filigree text so i yep. think it's a different thing but i think they're sneak peeking at the same time to confuse people yeah i would agree so you know that's that yeah so beautiful very beautiful color yeah um, good, so this is more silver stuff. packaging, it metallic. Is, yeah. It's not that black and white filigree. filigree it just wouldn't thing. make sense if they brought it out. In I reckon that'll arm. be an eyeshadow palette. I agree. I can't think of it being anything Because they've else. got the stacks, right? Yeah. So the next thing that makes sense is it's a palette. create a palette with the shades they already have yeah, in their make range. a rust palette, please. Oh, please. 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 I, I, would, I would likely buy that. Uh, yes. Yeah. I like. I like. Uh, yeah. Something that else that may be rust Themed yes, is the new Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. Now we have a very small photo yeah. of the external packaging, and this makes me feel like it's going to be beautiful, warm, metallic, metallic, orange, red, yellows. Mm -hmm. Give me all of that stuff in one palette. This, if that's what this palette is, yeah. This might be my first Natasha Denona purchase. Because I do have a Natasha Denona palette, like yes. a, the blue brown, no blue, yeah, no, green brown. Yeah. 
brown, green, whatever. Um, and they're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. But the packaging is like a patent leather white. Yeah. So it's like a shiny PVC kind of white. Mm -hmm. So the fact that this is a gold, it's the same packaging, but a gold metallic finish. Yeah. I'm thinking it's going to be exciting. Yeah. Also, those two big palettes, they're coloured. So you've got the um, blue, purple, and the green, brown. So if this was more nude and warm, it like it will fit in with the range really, really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm. I want the. I want this to be full of reds and oranges, and, and like my life will be complete. Earthy colours yeah. and like gorgeousness. Please, Natasha. Make it happen. Make it happen. Don't Natasha. disappoint Beauty News. Please, Natasha. Please, please. My bag is back. <laughs> Natasha. All right. So we have a little update on the Too Faced Clover's a Girl be Girl's Best Friend palette. Correct. Now we started out. This with, infuriates me. Though. Yeah. This this infuriates me as well. So we started out with a super super saturated photo yep. of this palette. Then where, where things looked like neon and yeah. vibrant and dark. And then we went over to an overly um, exposed. exposed. Yeah. Where everything looked pastel. pastel. Yeah, it did. Finally, we have what the palette is most likely going to yeah. look like. And it's smack bang in between it and is. smack bang boring. Oh, fuck yes. It's smack bang boring. It is literally every single Too Faced palette on the market. This is like, I'm not kidding you, it is the Sweet Peach palette with a blue and a, and a yellow. yellow. That's what it is. Oh, and a green. I don't think... No, Sweet Peach has green. Does it? See, yep. I used it and then put it away because yep. it's terrible. So, if you look at it as a whole, their marketing is fucked. Yeah, because these look like three different palettes. One looks like primary colours. Mm -hmm. One looks like pastel, pastel light. Yeah, and one looks like neutral, boring, couple of pops of boring colour. Yeah, so it's a shame. Yeah, I'm really disappointed in this. Yeah, we did when this palette was first sort of sneak peeked and we could see what it looked like. We talked about how a lot of people have a collection of the Too Faced tin palettes. Yes. Including I am, us. Yeah, I'm one of those people, so is Kat. Yeah. And this is something that I feel obligated to purchase because collection, but also infuriated because it's Boring. exactly what they released last time. And I did use the Sweet Peach palette. Like, I used it for a couple of weeks because I was reviewing it. Yeah. As soon as I reviewed it, I put it the fuck away. Yeah. And it's the, been over a year. Yep. The or only year. time I picked it up after I'd finished reviewing it was when we did a, a beauty breakdown, a not beauty breakdown, a beauty news reviews on it, didn't yeah. we? Oh, ages with, ago. Yeah, we did, we did like a demo. A demo look with it. Yeah. Um, so after all the filming was done, I put it in the drawer. I've only brought it out to reference it. Yeah. Um, and. In comparison to the chocolate bar palettes, I have actually pulled out the original chocolate bar and the semi-sweet yep. numerous times to just use them again, just because. Mm -hmm. um, I was using the semi-sweet the other week and I actually was getting a lot of enjoyment out of using it. So yep. it says a lot about the palette. They don't wow me. They're just really bland and boring. Yep. I wouldn't take them traveling. No. It just is nothing. So why would I buy another I one? I know. The only thing that interests me is down the bottom... On the the second shade, that looks like a. It yeah. looks yeah. The second shade on the bottom row, um, it's called, it's called Best Friends, yep. and it looks like one of those uh, blue brown shifting eyeshadows. But if I really wanted it, I'll just go for the single version of like Lounge from Urban Decay. Yeah, and that is probably more gorgeous mm -hmm. and cheaper to buy one than a whole damn palette. Yeah. Our last update is the Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder collection. Yeah. So the premium makeup collection by Victoria Beckham is back with new shades and it is going to be or is cut cu it's currently available on the Estee Lauder website. Yeah. So this is very exciting because that got rave, rave reviews. reviews. Um, Estee Lauder and Tom Ford are owned by Estee Lauder. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of people are saying that this is uh, Tom Ford quality and packaging at an Estee Lauder price. Yes. Um, so we've got some photos here and it looks a lot more muted than the, the first collection. So the first collection had like 
blues and greens and red kind of eyeshadows. This has like a black and it looks like a kind of dark kind of khaki brown. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Then it looks like a, a few nude eyeline, uh, uh, blah, 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 lipsticks <laughs> and a couple of bronzers. Yeah. And a, and a kind of nude peachy highlighter. Yeah. Potentially. It's pretty colour. Mm. Might be a shimmery bronzer. I don't know. They did have a highlighter though. Did they? Yeah, okay. They had a highlighter that had like decent reviews and they right. had bronzers. Looks like there's two bronzers now. I don't know if there's three. Yeah. You know what? So I believe... All right. So we're coming into autumn or fall or yeah. we're actually already in it. Yes. Um, and I know in the States they're coming into spring. Correct. I don't get spring vibes from this. And this is something no. that we see quite often. This is like winter. Yes. This is something we see quite often when we film beauty news episodes. Brands bring out collections and I think... When the colours are selected, potentially the people who are selecting those colours are influenced by the current yeah. seasons. And then by the time it com comes out, it, it doesn't feel like it's right for that time of year. The only thing that I think feels warm about this is the fact that there's n potentially numerous bronzers. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I think that the Victoria Beckham collection is being too... Is Marching to the beat of its own drum. It is. It's and like, I, I yeah. respect that. It's yeah. like, this is what they want to do. Mm -hmm. um, this is what they think is needed in a makeup collection and that people wear every day. And that's what they're providing. It's not like um, products that are like trendy at the moment. These yeah. are like classic products. It's like that little black dress. Yeah. You buy it and you know that you'll wear it for Forever. 10 years. Yeah. Same as these kind of products. It's a nude lipstick that you know you'll wear. Like you would wear it 10 years ago. You'd wear it 10 years in the future. Um, yep. it's, they're kind of classic items. So I get that, mm -hmm. but, um, I don't feel like that this is designed to be a summer or spring no. collection anyway. It's it just a, it's just a it's collection. It's not trending makeup. Yeah. Which exactly. is fine. And I think for a collection like that, it needs to be sort of that thing that you buy to yep. use year round. Correct. And you can with those colors, which is great. Yeah. I want to buy some and I wish they come to Australia. Hello. They did come to Australia, I'm pretty sure. Are you sure? I heard somewhere that they sold out everywhere in David Jones. Let us know in the comments. But I'm pretty yeah, sure I heard know. that the day that they were released, they sold out. Sold out. And like people were like lining up mm. for them. Well, wouldn't be surprised. Right I just wish we use. Yeah, I just wish that we had better access to them online. Yeah, that'd be good. All but right. We don't. Anyway, we're going. We're going. It's done. It's right done. over here, mm. we have a live feed. Yeah. So we're going to say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. We will see you in the next one. Now we're going to go give these, these people some love. Some attention. But also check out our Instagram account. Oh, yeah, guys. Instagram. Beauty News Official. Yeah. While the lady Whoa, is. I'm spilling wine. Oh, yeah. shit. Me too. Don't do that. <laughs> Look. You know, one in, all in. Oh, yeah. One oh, yeah. person in the gutter, two people in the gutter. Exactly. More Get down merrier. with your friends. Yeah. Cheers. Down in the gutter. Cheers. See you Bye. on Wednesday. That's it. Bye.